Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well and today I'm going to talk about a stock that I sold this week. So I sold this stock this week for a 75% profit and I'll go through the reasons today why I sold that stock. Now if you do want to know when I'm buying and selling companies in real time, make sure you join the Patreon, link is in the description. I post when I'm buying and selling companies in real time on there as well as a Discord with 600 members on to talk to and there's two exclusive videos a week on there. There will be an exclusive video on the weekend which will be talking about the earnings this week, some stocks that I own, some stocks that I don't own. But if not, I will see you on Monday. This will be my last video. I'll probably have Saturday and Sunday off. But there will be one more exclusive video on Patreon. So uh, if you are on Patreon, do keep an eye out for that one. But we'll go through the stock that I sold uh, today. So I'll let you know the stock that I sold was Tesla. So I sold Tesla for a 75% profit. Now I, I made 75% profit with holding this stock in six months. So six months and getting a 75% return is absolutely amazing. And I'll kind of go through the reasons why I kind of justified that. But sometimes when you do have, you know, for me personally, I look at stocks, I look at some stocks and go, you know, in the next two to five years, I want to make a 100% return from them. If you guys have been on the channel for a while, you know that's my philosophy with that. And uh, sometimes, you know, it can take a while for that, you know, two, three, four, five years for them 100% returns to come in. Sometimes I do want more than 100% return on a few stocks, don't get me wrong, you know, those ones that have maybe a bit more risk because it's unprofitable, a lot more growth, for example. Uh, but realistically, I want to get 100% return from the next two to five years from investment. So when you have in six months of me owning the stock and then I get a 75% profit, I'm kind of looking at that and going, okay, I wanted 100% return in like the next kind of two to five years and you're giving me 75% in six months. I've kind of got to weigh that up and justify, okay, can I still hold this and make good money? And that's what I was doing with Tesla for a while. You guys know I made a video a couple of weeks ago saying that, oh, I'm not sure now Tesla's jumped so much and then it carried on going up and I was like, okay, keep working these numbers out and eventually I got to the point where I was like, we're gonna just take this home run. Sometimes it's really important to kind of take some of them home runs uh, and that's what will help you scale up your, your portfolio very quickly. Don't get me wrong, it's great when you have them gains and you hold them for two, three, four, five years, but if overnight you have a stock that shoots up to what you thought it was gonna do in five years, in six months, you kind of have to weigh up that option and that's what I was doing with Tesla. Now I'm gonna state this point very clearly at the start because I know there'll be a few people on here that'll be like, oh yeah, well done, Tesla's overvalued, well done for selling it. And there'll be a few people like, no, no, I'm bullish on Tesla, what are you selling Tesla for in the next five years? But hopefully if you kind of see my point of view through my video, it kind of justifies my decision. And then day, this is my investment, this is my money, and I am in charge of my investments, and I will do what I think is right for my investments. And so far, through my investing, life of being on the stock market, it has worked out successful for me, so I am gonna carry on sticking to my game plans, and uh, this was a game plan that I had with Tesla, and sure, you know, maybe in a couple of months time, it might be higher, sometimes it'll be lower, but for me personally, it's just working out, okay, what are the chances of it going higher, and what are the chances of this stock maybe going down or flatlining for the next couple of months or years, and that's what I was kind of working out with Tesla. And I'll also make it very clear as well that I am here to make money on the stock market. I am not here to kind of, talk about hype stocks, I'm not here to get my YouTube views up. For me, my most important thing is making money from the stock market, that is my number one priority. So when I have an investment that I've invested my capital in, and within six months I have a 75% gain, I am not kind of considering, oh, I wanna kind of show off on whatever my gains are on YouTube uh, or anything like that, I am gonna take that money and move on to the next opportunity. I run my investments like a business and I make a lot of business decisions. And with that is comes a lot of YouTube hype. I've seen quite recently a lot of people that have been hyping up on YouTube going, oh, it's gone up a lot, but don't worry, it's still gonna keep going up and up and up. That's not for me. Personally for me, I give my opinion on what I think is best for my investments. Whereas some people might keep Tesla because of the run it's been on, maybe because it's a hype stock, maybe because it brings the views, views into the channel. For me, it's not that important. For me, my most important thing is making money. And what I've done here is I have made money. I've made very good money in six months, and that's what I'm happy with. As well as that, I'll go through the other reasons that came into consideration. So going back to the point, I sold Tesla. Tesla has been a good one this year. It's up 75%. And this year has been one of those years that hasn't been really like steady for growth stocks and small caps have been it's been more of a year of volatility, especially with earnings this quarter. Earnings have been up and down, quite a lot have been down uh, and shooting down a massive amount. So it's been, the big tech, big growth, big market cap stocks have been like steadily going on, but with the growth stocks and small market caps, it's been a very bumpy year, very volatile. And it's one of those years that 
if you were holding through the long period of time, you probably won't have that much benefit because a lot of the stocks haven't really just ticked up nicely. A lot of the growth stocks, a lot of the small market cap stocks have been bouncing up and down. So really with them sort of stocks, the only kind of time you would have made money really this year is by just having those little bit of trims when we've had a crazy shoot up. The likes of Skills and Beyond Meat come into mind. Stocks, them two stocks have done nothing all year. In fact, they're a little bit down this year, but there was chances to make money on them when they had their bounces and that volatility. And that's what I've kind of considered is when you have them crazy reactions, just maybe taking a bit of profit. Where with the likes of Tesla, I decided to take uh, all my profit with this one. So first of all, the jump. So with the jump in share price, like I said, we've gone up 75% in six months. When I have that sort of thing going on with my stock, I look at that and go, has that company done something to justify a 75% gain? With Tesla, I looked and thought, yeah, you know, the company's done really good financials. It's moving in the right direction. But this wasn't a company that was really cheaply undervalued or disrespected. I was buying Tesla at $600 at a pretty fair valuation. For me, I look at that and go, it's 75% jump in like six months. For me, I can't see that justification. I don't see it in the in the earnings. I think they've done very good earnings, don't get me wrong, I think it's a great company. I look at the company and I go, okay, the, what the, the company's done is probably justifies what I worked out at the start when I bought this stock is probably a 20%, 30% return this year. To go up 75%, I think is a bit too much. And I look at a company that jumps up that much um, so, so quickly, I look at that and go, that's probably a lot of overreaction, there's a bit of hype coming in here. And I look at that and think that Tesla as a company doesn't reflect what the share price is showing. The company is fantastic, but the company is not the share price. And I look at the share price, the share price for me is pricing Tesla too high. It's done the right things, but to go up that much in that period of time, not for me. So the first thing was that unnatural jump in the share price. And with all my investments, I go on risk to reward. So I look at what's the risk of this going down or not doing anything or where the stock keeps going up. For me, at Tesla, for Tesla at 1.2 billion market cap, I looked at that and think, okay, for me, the, re the re reward now is a lot less than the risk. I think the risk of Tesla flatlining or going down here is probably above 50%. So with me kind of taking that into consideration, that was what I thought, okay, can I move that into a stock where I see I'm about 95% confident that's gonna go up from here? That's what I was kind of weighing up. So Tesla, when I invested, went from a 600 billion market cap to a 1.2 trillion market cap. Now I thought, let's scratch it off, let's start again. Can Tesla double up from here again? And I looked and thought, okay, to double up, we need to go from a 1.2 trillion market cap to a 2.4 trillion market cap in the next five years. Now that's a big jump. That's uh, one of the biggest companies, well, it already is one of the biggest companies in the world, but an even bigger company in the world, you know, you're overtaking the likes of Google if Google was to stay where it is right now. Big massive jump. So what I thought is, okay, let's have a look at here. What are the chances of doing it? What is the risk to reward here? So I thought what we'll do is we'll stick down a 60p ratio. Now I think that could be quite generous because we think five years down the line, can Tesla command that valuation? You would think, okay, will they have the revenue growth still? Revenue growth slowing down will mean a lower valuation. You've also got to consider the factors that they will have a lot more competition catching up to them. As well as the competition, you are kind of relying on other parts of the company, not just the EVs, like the solar plays and, and the uh, self-driving cars and everything like that. You're relying on a lot of them to come in to help that revenue growth to keep up that valuation. So I looked and thought, 60p is very generous. Okay, we'll go with that one. I looked and thought, to do 60p, Tesla needs to start doing 40 billion in profit. That's a lot of profit. Just to put that into context, Tesla at the moment does 5 billion in profit. So Tesla would have to jump from 5 billion to 40 billion in profit. You can kind of see here, I'm looking at the risk to reward, what are the chances of Tesla doing it? I mean, it's a great company, but in my opinion, that's where you start weighing up. What are the chances of getting there? Am I 95% conf confident Tesla can do it? And I looked and thought, no. And that's just like me starting to weigh up this risk to reward. And just to put some more context of the numbers there, Tesla would have to do what it's doing right now, a 51 billion revenue, it would have to go to 200 billion in revenue. Once again, you're talking about a massive jump there. And as well as that, on this number here, that is to do 20% profit margin. So to get 400 billion profit off 200 billion, you're talking 20% profit margins. That's a massive jump from where they're at right now. So you, they would need a massive revenue ramp, a massive profit ramp. And that's what I start weighing up. I look at what has happened here. I'm looking at the share price jump. Is it justified? 
I'm looking at what are the chances of the, the double up again now. And I think it could happen. Tesla's a great company, but it's just the risk to reward. And I look and think the, the risk here of it not happening is a lot higher than the reward at the current valuation. And that's what I weighed up and thought, it's time to move away. It's time to move away because I can move away from this one and maybe there's other better opportunities out there where, where it has that better reward to the risk side of it. And that's what I really had to weigh up from th this situation. It's still a fantastic company, don't get me wrong. You know, I talk about Tesla and I think I'm still ultra bullish on it, but there's a different thing here. We've got the company, which is a great company, but the valuation, I just can't get to the valuation side of it. And the stock and the share price are different things. The company is absolutely amazing, I totally agree, but do, does the share price justify the company? In my opinion, not right now. Now, obviously I'm still a bullish on Tesla. I still, you know, if I have the opportunity to probably buy it around the $700 range, I probably would take that opportunity. But right now I just look at it and think, I made good money, I made good money very fast as well. And also I look at the risk to reward going forward. For me, the risk is just a little bit higher than a reward, so move away from this one. And I know for some people will still be at the end of the video after me kind of justifying the share price jump and also the the risk of it to double up again from here. I'd, I'm just not sure on it. I know a few people will be like, oh, you, you're absolutely wrong. But then they, you know, this is kind of my investments, it's my money, and I just kind of weigh up of what are the, what's the probability. There's a probability I could be wrong on this, but it's just more of trying to kind of justify what is more than likely going to be the right decision. And at the moment, I think this is the right decision and I think there's better places for me to move this money to and to also take this profit. And at the end of the day, we're all here to make money and I've made some good money on this one and I'm happy with it. And um, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. So uh, yeah, this is the video on Tesla. Hope it was useful. Um, I'll see you on Monday unless you're on the Patreon. I'll put the video up there either Saturday or Sunday. Um, but yeah, if you could hit like button, if you're new, subscribe and I'll see you next video.